See that, y'all? That's all the snow that's that's all the snow that's left in the yard. Sun shining. A couple of clouds up there. We got to do it. Still cold as heck. <laughs> it's less. It's about 37 degrees. We got to do it. Sun's out. This bike needs some vitamin D. Vitamin D. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Today we got a break in the weather. Thought we'd take advantage of it. Go for a little scoot around the block. It's really super cold. We got the 360 camera on here mounted to the handlebars. And we're just checking to see how it works. I'm still learning how to do it. But I think the handlebar mount is the way to go. If you're looking at the video, you can turn it all kinds of ways. It records everything. All uh, It records everything all around. I don't even know what I'm doing talking here. <laughs> I'm trying. But you can see in the shadow, when the shadow pops up right there, you see where the selfie stick is? I got it stuck out in front of the motorcycle. Just gives you a different view. But you can't always change the mounting area. You have to stop and move the camera to get from to mount it in the back or the engine guard or whatever. So most of the time it's going to be on the handlebar right there. So I can control it with my phone. I can turn it off and on. If you let it run, you have miles and miles of video to go through. Well, that wouldn't be good. And this camera does all kinds of cool stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to keep it real and get the best view for everyone. One of the reasons we ride motorcycles is you're out in the fresh air and you get to see everything. Like here, there's a, a pond there. If I would have had the selfie stick up in the air a little higher, or the camera up in the air, we'd have got a good view of that pond. But you can see in the shadow there again, it's sticking out the front. It looks like heck. In fact, the wife says she's not going to ride with me if that thing's sticking out all over the place. <laughs> well, we'll see what happens with that. But it's kind of cool. I don't know if I'm putting too much movement in the camera or not because you can look like I say you can look everywhere all around up down wherever the camera records everything and my other cameras that I use that's mounted to my helmet is only one direction so you have to look at what you're trying to film so your head's moving all the time instead of paying attention to your driving Make sense? Yeah, that truck was close, wasn't it? But that's one of the reasons I got the 360 camera is it pretty much does everything for you. You don't have to worry about where it's pointing. You just turn it on and it records everything. And you can, as you can see, when the cars pass you, you can follow them. I could have put that in slow motion too if I wanted to, to but hey, this is just a test run. The colors I think are really good. My goal is to, with this camera, is try to make it like you're all riding a motorcycle. Because it's fun. It's just fun. And here is a shot of the pointing up in the sky a little bit. So. If there was leaves on those trees, it would have been a really cool shot, I think. 
but it's not all about pointing the camera at me all the time. I'm just trying to find out the best ways because some of them, some of the views you get here, the bike will appear a little bit distorted, like small or big or whatever. That's that's in all the. Uh, there's that selfie stick again. <laughs> cool shadows. But sometimes it looks a little distorted, and that's just the way the camera is. And the way I try to point it. See, with a 360 camera, it records everything. So when I get done with the day or with my ride, I have to take all of that footage and put it in my computer and then tell the camera what to look at with the computer see we're upside down right here i got the camera a little bit i got disoriented <laughs> it happens but learning how to spin 360 degrees and get the video to come out looking half decent is part of the fun for me has a little extra time but like this ride right here that we're on oh it took about 25 minutes and i rec let the camera run the whole time and the, the whole length of the video i think is 12 minutes so that's how much i cut out that really didn't make any sense and uh, hopefully in the future i can well, not hopefully in the future, I am going to show the cameras that I use, where where I mount them and how they work and everything. That'll, that'll be the next video, I think. See the snow there? It's still cold out. It's not very many times you can ride your motorcycle and not get any bugs all over it. That's because they're still frozen. You see this clip right here, the bike looks a little distorted. Sometimes it looks cool, sometimes it don't. That's one thing we got to deal with with the 360 camera. That's a really cool shot. I fixed the camera on that sign right there, and it just kept that in view until I got around the corner, which is kind of neat. This right here, I got it pointed at the road pretty much, so you can all see the fine Michigan potholes we got to drive around. It's a big one right there. And coming up, we're coming to a stop sign. If you watch the shadow on the sel on the selfie stick right there, you can you'll see me moving around, moving the camera. I'm gonna stick it straight up in the air on the handlebar. And here we go and I push the selfie stick all the way down as far as it'll go because I would like to be able to to get a view pretty much behind me or over my shoulder because we do a lot of group rides and we have large groups so I'd like to be able to get those bikes in view also so you can see it's a pretty good view behind there you can see the selfie stick in the shadow again nothing we can do about that that's what it is but that right there is with the selfie stick all the way compressed on the 360 camera and you can still look down on yourself like you you got a drone flying over you really good shot of the selfie stick right there it's just something different I think it makes the videos more interesting I don't know you all let me know what you think in the comments I think the camera was worth the money and I don't have to use the other two cameras except for when I'm moto vlog I have a camera mounted on my helmet with a microphone and that's one thing about this 360 camera all the audio that you hear besides my voice right now that's right from the 360 camera it doesn't work real good there's a lot of wind noise in there and it just doesn't work real good but when I use my helmet camera, the microphone's inside the helmet, and the wind noise is all blocked out and everything, it's much better that way. But I just
just decided we had a break in the weather. I'm jumping on that motorcycle. It's cold. It's 37 degrees. <laughs> but something we got to do. It had to be done, right? And here's another bird's eye view. That's from the handlebar. It's pretty amazing how the thing works. But we're right here. This is going to be kind of funky. See, I'm unscrewing the camera from its mount. You can't even tell I spun that camera around about six times right there in a circle. But what I'm going to do is extend the stick out a little bit. I'm going to set on it. It was very uncomfortable. <laughs> like, it's not natural. But I sat on it, and I seen some other people do that, and that's something you're not going to want to do very long, because it kept feeling like it was going to fall out of there. Kind of nuts. But it definitely gives you a different view. I didn't extend the stick out full length. I probably should have. I would have had a more natural picture. That's not really natural right there. See the the fairing kind of looks a little enlarged that's just because I didn't have the, the stick all the way out there but it does catch wind the camera's a little heavy and you pull that selfie stick all the way out it flops in the breeze pretty good so I pull it out maybe three links three and a half links I'm sitting on it there. I was adjusting it because I, if I could feel it slipping. But it gives a pretty neat view of the bike and the road. And I just wanted to, to do this and show you guys the struggle is real trying to learn new gear. And we got a chance to go for a ride too. So like I said, there'll be more on the camera gear that I use in the next video and, and more technical stuff if you're interested in that. Appreciate y'all watching, stopping, stopping in and checking me out. And we will catch you next time.